Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Jake. You can also call me atrocious. And today we got kind of one of the more fun league recordings that I got in the last couple weeks. I'm really excited about this one. I know that maybe Nami is not everybody's favorite deck, but it's one of my favorites as someone who loves alternate win conditions versus Sakazuki, definitely one of the hotter decks of OPO5, one of the more popular. We've showcased a ton of Sakazuki games, but not necessarily one against Nami. Now, this is going to be a fun one. And first, before we get into it, I just want to say thank you to my opponent for one, letting me record this because I they could have just said, no, I don't want to be recorded. And then I'd be like, OK, thank you also so much to Dark Side Games for allowing me to record in their store as well. If you want some One Piece TCG singles, make sure to go to darksidegames.com. You can check it out in the description below and that link will help, uh, you know, grow the channel a little bit. So anyways, let's just get into the game. I believe I chose to go second in this one. I didn't want them to get like a turn one brand new off of this. I've got an Ivankov, Brickfist, Dazbones, Buggy and Kaya in hand. So the Sakizuki player decides to put it away and I'm really thinking about whether or not I want to keep it but I usually try to see something like a spada or a rubber band or something in my hand in terms of counter the Kaya was really really nice and the buggy as well but again I just like to uh I like to get that one cost counter in there as well for their first series of attacks because you definitely don't want to take life too early i feel like in a lot of matchups so we'll see how this goes i do remember this game even though it was like i think it was like two weeks ago now at this point this was a super super fun game i really enjoy this game playing against miko uh miko's a fun opponent and so in this hand i get a rubber band kaya so easy way to filter out that impel down all stars that i have and maybe i'm actually going first did i choose to go first i did choose to go first oh man mistake well maybe a mistake on my part i'm not sure but i'm gonna play kaya right away i know some people say to not play kaya in the beginning of the game especially against sakazuki because it is so easy to get bottom decked but i'm taking my chance on there because i got an impel down all stars in hand and i found another one so i decided to do that the brand new that my opponent plays finds a hound blaze and that's definitely a card that you don't want to see because with nami every time they hound blaze or bottom deck something your deck just becomes bigger and that kind of defeats your purpose so now on to the three dawn turn i'm thinking about what i want to do i don't think i have a super good play so i just go in and i just say all right Let's go for this life. I discard a rubber band off of the leader effect because I do hit a life. You probably don't ever want to swing there. I was just kind of doing it because I was like, okay, I'm not going to use the other Dawn here. And I really don't think I'm going to like scare my opponent into not like, you know, swinging potentially or something. So, um, just going to do it anyway. They start off with leader effect pitching that blue Hina. We saw they have a Rob Lucci in hand, and there we go. They swing the five. I rubber band. Get out of that. It trashes a gavel, and then the Rob Lucci takes the KO. So you definitely love seeing Rob Lucci instead of Houndblaze, in my opinion, because Rob Lucci just KOs characters, and that's totally fine. Yeah, you can't brick fist them or anything like that, but it kind of works out and so this is a really tricky situation for me i've got a zeph in hand i've got a couple things going on and there's a couple swings that are going to come my way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to play das bones i'm going to grab a rubber band right here to be able to get out of like one of the smaller attacks i think i also have a spada in hand at this point so i'm just going to do the whole life thing again see if i can get another one but if my memory is correct they're not going to let me they're going to pitch this to shigi right here and i'm just going to pass the turn three dawn right here i know i have a spada in hand i think i've spotted gavel and rubber band so looking to potentially use some of these three in this turn so they're going to play hound blaze get rid of my das bones right there and go ahead and swing 
nine I could get out of this, but I think I'm going to let a trigger happen. Don't remember what it was, but it wasn't trigger worthy, if anything. I think it was something without a trigger, more like a Das Bones kind of thing. So there's one extra card at the bottom of my deck. So thinking about what I want to do now, I've got seven Dawn at this point. I think it was a buggy actually from the life. I think I saw a buggy at the front of my hand there. So thinking about what I want to do, I do have one extra card in the deck. So I am thinking about buggy to potentially uh, get some cards, but I'm also trying to think about swinging into the Rob Lucci because the Rob Lucci, you definitely every turn that they're swinging characters, you want to swing somewhat with the uh, leader. And so I go ahead, use Zeph. I get a little annoying with the brand new, just take away one more character from them and then also trash two cards as well and i've got a lot of cards in hand and i've got a gavel so unfortunately i'm going to be taking a life here in this scenario but i think i can kind of afford it at this point i think i'm in an okay spot because i've been able to mill a couple times and they don't have like an extremely developed board state so they're going to start off by swinging seven trying to bait the uh the whatchamacallit um, and this is an interesting, I remember this, this is interesting because now with the minus one, my Zeph is at four. So I'm going to gavel away the buggy, get rid of Pilaf and another buggy, hate seeing Pilaf go away, but the four is going to be super important. So that is now at two. They're going to how, oh, maybe it wasn't that part. Maybe that was a different game. I was thinking maybe of a different game that I had against Sakazuki as I get a rubber band trigger, getting a brick fist in my hand. There was a game that I had against another Sakazuki player as they swing seven where they minused my um, they minused my Zeph to four. And then I was able off of a trigger to brick fist um, the Zeph back in my hand before they bottom decked it off a Houndblaze. So that's a play that you can make and got to be really careful of if you're Sakazuki going into Nami. Um, for anybody who wants to know that matchup a little bit more, but only with two life left. I've got a ton of cards in hand, though, a ton of stuff to work with now with uh, nine on turn, I believe. So thinking about what I want to play exactly in here. And so I'm looking at three dawn right here, probably eyeing up three dawn with the uh death wink potentially i know death wink wouldn't draw me any cards but it's still something that i want to keep track of i've got the brick fist in hand and still that spada and the uh the rubber band as well i'm also maybe looking at a p loft to start the turn and that's exactly what i get getting a daz bones and a brick fist in my hand my hand is literally like 11 cards at this point so one thing that you want to do as nami and make is make sure that your hand size doesn't get too small that's a mistake a lot of players make and something that i personally struggle with a lot so with this big hand, I can afford to use Das Bones, grab a gavel at this point to minimize my hand a little bit, but it'll be to uh, to stop anything under nine or combo together. So see a Mihawk in my opponent's hand, the Mihawk, very, very interesting tech card that some Sakazuki players are playing, found another Houndblaze in here so using that mihawk to put the daz bones down at the bottom that's two daz bones and a zeph now at the bottom so my deck is an extra three cards at this point which is crazy and so he's thinking about what he wants to do now because he's got the luchis he's got the suru and he's going to be swinging seven with luchi so i'm going to rest one i'm going to go ahead and gavel i've got some options that i could gavel and i'm going to do zeph you don't want to zeph like too many times um, especially at this point in the game. And he's just going to pass after that, um, especially because he doesn't have any more Dawn to swing another seven with the Rob Lucci. Doesn't want to easily get like rubber banded. So I end the turn with only like four Dawn up or with four Dawn up in general, which is not super fun, but it is what it is. I grab, I think that was a gavel right there that I grabbed back. It was either that or a rubber band. I'm not 100% sure, but thinking about doing some annoying stuff with the brick fist at this point 
Um, I've got nine dawn remaining in here. Definitely want to remember to swing, I think, with my character. And I think I'm thinking about what I could do, but also be able to play defense. It's going to be hard if I don't get rid of characters this turn. And plus, I'm thinking as well, if I do end up breakfasting the Rob Lucci, right, that's more likely that he's going to Rob Lucci my Das Bones away, which is not bottom decking. So I'm trying to get him caught in that trap as well. And I'm just going to pass at that point. I'm about halfway through my deck at this point. I've got several counter cards that I could play in this one. And we're thinking about what we're going to have to do. They do have that Hound Blaze there. That Hound Blaze is going to be really good in getting rid of that Daz Bones and putting it at the bottom of my deck. So I'm going to rest one to Spada real quick. I want to Spada first. I'm thinking about doing Gavel. So you, when you have the combo of Spada and Gavel to get around something like the Mihawk Swing, you definitely want to spot up first because you want to know what you are exactly discarding off the top two cards because you do get to manipulate your top cards of the deck. So I'm going to get rid of a breakfast and spot up right there. So the Hound Blaze is coming. Going to boost that Rob Lucci to another nine swing right here. And I've got like four cards in hand at this point. So I'm thinking about what I want to do exactly. And I'm going to use the rubber band or maybe not, maybe I actually like decide not to do that. But I am going to first, I think my intention was to spot a first and then use rubber band, but I did it in the wrong order because I'm constantly slinging cards everywhere. And this one actually shouldn't be that hard. I'm just deciding what I want to end up top decking for the turn because this three cards is Kaya, Impel Down, All-Stars, and Love, Love, Mellow. So obviously using the uh, rubber band, it is going to get rid of that. And so I'll use the Zeph to counter out. And I've got three Dawn left for this Death Wink. I have one card and it's a Death Wink and he's going to swing at me. And so I Death Wink out of that through leader and draw two cards which are kaya and love love mellow so this is going to be a 5k swing i'm thinking about using kaya but i decide not to i end up putting it in hand i don't know what it was um right there but he attached all that dawn to subaru and so i just did a kaya i was like i can't risk letting that one go as well so Thinking about what I want to do with 10 Dawn now at this point. I think I have a Brick Fist. Um, I did get another Kai. I think that's what I actually got off life. So I'm thinking about if it's worth doing the Kaya Brick Fist shenanigans at this point. So I attach two. I swing at Branu. I definitely think he probably would have let me have it if I didn't commit that two Dawn. So that's a mistake on my part I feel like and so that brick fist is going to get that Rob Lucci out of there only doing two swings and I'm leaving the Suru there which is a little scary at times but I'm just going to pass with six dawn up I've got a love love mellow in hand and also the Kaya so that's my two cards I'm hoping that love love mellow gets me somewhere but getting rid of a lot of his board I'm trying to see if he'll develop the board a little bit now so swinging nine to start out I'm thinking about taking this potentially or not and I am going to take it it is a potential trigger and I say no on that one it's a death wink I want to keep the death wink in hand because that can get me out of a huge swing and so he swings now 15 there so i use the love of the the, the the love love mellow i draw one and then i use one of the two death wings that i have now in hand to get out of that one so now i'm feeling pretty all right it's a little scary i don't think i can stop another nine mihawk and another 15 sakazuki in there so we'll see exactly how this goes they've only got six cards in hand so i'm going to rest one for kaya i'm going to draw some cards i get a hanger hanger is really interesting in this list and a gavel but gavel i decide to throw that gavel away because i think my last card in my hand is like a uh is the death wink so i've got death wink and i think one more card but i can't remember what it is so gonna swing six at leader they're gonna 2k counter suru and pass so we'll see how i do with eight dawn left eight dawn in this one 
they use Leer effect to get rid of the Rob Lucci. Start off by swinging nine in there, and I will Deathwing for one card. That one card is Das Bones. So two cards left in hand. I know one of them is the uh, the thing. So before I do one, which is a Deathwing, I'm going to trash that counter, draw two off of that, and I've actually got enough to use Level of Mellow to get out of that attack because I've got... Uh, what is it 15 16 total in counter and now with only a couple cards left i top deck akaya i'm counting the cards that i've got in deck uh what is that seven or eight i think i've got seven or eight cards in deck at this point so make sure to unrest your leader because that could be effective i'm an akaya i'm going really aggressive now at this point i gotta trash two cards that are not going to help me uh the love love mellow and the uh the spotta i brick fist my kaya i play another kaya i draw two cards i get impel down all stars and gavel which gavel in a one card hand is not going to help me so i'm going to rest three to use peel off to draw two more cards one could say that i should have done peel off first and i with only one thing left to do i am going to gavel get das bones off of the gavel and pass the turn so looking at this top deck right here it's the borsalino I'm gonna bottom deck my kaya and now i cannot win the game so i'm gonna gavel away i gotta trash that card it's gonna be one two and i will be stuck with one card left such a thrilling and fun game in my opinion it was so crazy to see the borsalino the borsalino he was telling me he says was the top deck and so like if he didn't top deck that borsalino right there that would have been the doom so i think one thing that i probably could have done i don't know if it actually would have helped me is probably use the pilaf first before I go into it. Also, the turn that I played the Zeph to get rid of the brand new, I think was maybe a little bit too aggressive because it only left me with one Dawn left at that time. So a little bit to gleam from that game, but a ton of fun. I will remember that game for a while. I almost cooked them. And I, I really went through like, what was it? Like a 54 card deck because I only had one left at that point. So very, very fun and thrilling. I hope you enjoyed the game just as much as I did so thank you so much for watching if you made it this far check out darksidegames.com to get your one piece TCG singles or really any trading card game single and then also thank you again to my opponent and myself for well thank you to myself oh my god I'm all right cringe I'm done with this video thanks for watching